All right, we're back here. Garnet Trust, interview number three. You see him right there, Juice Wells. Uh, Juice, uh, first of all, man, appreciate you doing this again. Congrats on the big decision. I know you made Gamecock fans very happy last week. Yeah. So um, I guess, first of all, man, how's everything going? And give us a little bit of, a, I guess, a breakdown. What what all went into that decision for you, man? Yeah, everything going good, man. You know, I'm happy to be here. You know, I'm back. You know, I'm ready to win this thing back with the bros, you know, but – uh. We really went into, you know, just, uh, you know, my quarterback, of course, you know, me and him were talking a little bit, you know, uh, I think he probably was a little upset that I dropped my video first, you know, but uh, I don't know. But, um, yeah, everything was good. And uh, basically, like, just the, like the draft, you know, like I see a lot of receivers going in this year. You know, I definitely feel like, you know, it would be an easier, you know, route for me to just go next year and, uh, you know, get a higher draft stop, you know, and uh, hopefully go first round. Yeah, so uh, obviously I know a lot went into it, as you said there. How, how does it feel to be back? I mean, you started this journey at South Carolina, I guess, about a year ago. So now, um, you know, you're, you got another, you got a whole season, a whole year under your belt. You probably have a much better feel for the program and SEC football, your opponents, uh, kind of everything, as opposed to this time last year you were just jumping in. How, how does it feel to be back, and, and what was it like to see that reaction from the fans getting so excited about you coming back? You know, it feels good to be back, you know, uh, but now I know, you know, that I have to, you know, take on the role as being a leader, you know, and uh, definitely, you know, try to bring this team up to, you know, a, a good standard, you know, make the standard the best, you know what I'm saying? Uh, basically, I looked at it as, you know, like looking at E-Doug and, and Gwen and, and Jay Brooks and all of them, you know, like that, like that was the last year, you know, so uh, my main thing this year I want to work on is, uh, you know, um, basically like telling the guys, like the younger guys now, molding the younger guys now into like, you know, if y'all want to win games and y'all want to, you know, be a championship team, just start now, you know, as in like the workouts we're doing now, as in like just getting everything on time, you know, I'm trying to, you know, help mold, you know, us to be a disciplined team now. So like stuff like this don't have to come up later on in the season, as in like spring ball or, or things like that. So just little workouts now, I know I have to step up and be a leader. What was your other question? Um, I don't even reaction, know, man. I think you reaction to the fan. Yeah, yeah, the, fan, the fans yeah, getting yeah, excited. So, so, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, when I dropped the video on Twitter, um, I think uh, my cousin or my dad, somebody, somebody told me it got like a million views on. I'm like, great, hey, like it just, it was, it was, a, it was a, it was a happy moment for me, you know, just knowing where I come from, like the story, you know, at JMU and like being overlooked in college and stuff like that. It definitely, uh, it was, it was a sweet moment for me, you know. I was like, damn, man, you know, just all the hard work and everything started to pay off now, you know, and everybody's seeing it, you know, and every, it, it seemed like everybody appreciated it too, you know, all the retweets and all the comments and stuff like that. I'm blessed, man. Whose whose idea was the actual like content of the video? Like having the juice pouring at the end. Yeah. Um, who who gets credit for for the idea on that thing? That was uh, Justin King. Okay. Sure. Okay. Definitely. He 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 went crazy on that one. Like he snapped. It, it, that wasn't my hand though. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't my hand. If everybody was wondering, but he snapped <laughs> for sure. I think uh once I once I told the coaches and stuff like that, I was coming back. It was like, um, we got to get you a video. We got to get you a tape. And uh, they, they dropped that joint. That joint was pressure. Like, that joint was crazy. What was the reaction? You know, obviously, you kind of – you went through the process of making the decision. One way or the other, you didn't just say, I'm, going, I'm coming back or I'm just going to jump. You kind of went through this process. What was the reaction after they sort of waited to hear from you? Coach Stepp, Coach Beamer. Uh, how, yeah. Just take us in that room, man. How, how did it go? Coach Loggins is the funniest guy, bro. He is so funny, man. So once I uh once I <laughs> once I say I'm coming back or whatever, it's a song by um Yo Gotti. He be like, I got that juice, new AP. Like every time he see me, he play that song. It don't matter where we at, it don't matter. Like he funny as I don't know what, man. But he um that was his reaction. He started playing that song. Uh I called Coach Beam and told him I'm running it back. He was like, let's go, man. I'm happy to have you, you know, step up, be a leader now, you know. Uh, Coach Step, you know, he was he was happy as I don't know what. He was, he said, it made his night, all that type of stuff, you know. So uh, it was definitely a, a good moment. You know, everybody was happy and everybody was just excited. So uh, Loggins, obviously new OC. You've gotten a chance, I guess, now to start to get to know him. I, I don't know how much y'all have kind of, I guess, dove into the playbook or any of that stuff yet. But how has that process been just – getting to know a new OC and kind of maybe talking a little bit about the goals for this offense and the goals for you within this offense, possibly. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. We haven't really dove in the playbook yet. You know, uh, we mm. de- we just been just building and, and bonding and stuff like that. And, you know, today we went out there and threw a little bit, and uh, it was smooth. You know, he went out there, but when we came back in, he was out there in the in the um wait room waiting for us and stuff like that. He was just asking us how it went. He just cool, man. We I, I ain't know he played quarterback at Arkansas State. He told me that I threw with him a little bit. He was throwing that job. He was he he can throw a little bit. I don't, he was trying to say he was crazy, but I don't know how you can see over the line. But he said he could throw a little bit. But uh. He was cool, man. Oh man, <laughs> he like five, you know, five. I don't know how he see over the line, but he said he was scrambling or something like that. So we gonna that's, see. That's that's a short joke. Yeah, we we yeah yeah for sure. He like five 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 four something like that. I'm like, how would you play a quarterback in the SEC? Like, come on now. But uh, he said we are gonna see on uh, Pat and go when the season starts. So we are gonna see what he's talking about. Oh man, you know I'm team short guy too. As, as yeah, you know. yeah yeah yeah, but but you ain't play quarterback. But I didn't play quarterback in the SEC, so I, I and and it was. Probably pre YouTube, so I don't even know if there's any film out there. Of coach, yeah, of coach, I don't um, know how he's seen over them big old, big old boys. I don't know, it's crazy. Man. We'll, we'll we'll have to go out and maybe try to find some of that old film from '99 or wh- whenever it was. Yeah, I, I don't yeah, know, yeah, man. Sure, but sure. Uh, pretty sure he got something back there. So speak, speaking of quarterbacks, so you've mentioned uh, you know Spencer being back as well, and the two of you. I, I think the way you said it last time is that. You know, y'all were going to make your own decisions. There was no pressure uh, from you on him or from him mm-hmm. on you, but obviously that was going to factor in. What What does it just mean to know that Spence is back and know kind of what y'all were able to do last year and maybe trying to take that to an de- even different level this year? It, it definitely reminds me of the time when I was back at JMU and uh, my quarterback Cole Johnson came back. And just that second year, we was clicking crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like it was – it, it was it was nice, man. Like everything, like spring ball, fall camp, like it was just on a whole nother level. So I'm going into into spring ball and fall camp expecting the same thing, you know, uh, but just a little more. You know what I'm saying? I'm expecting him, uh, our connection to be, you know, crazy. You know, I'm expecting us to just go out here and just ball. But also just just have fun also, you know, just knowing it's our last go around. You know, we definitely want to have fun. And uh, I wouldn't be wanting to do it with no other quarterback, man. He, he a dog, man. For sure. And I, and I like his upbringing. I like his story, man. You know, like just going through that adversity and stuff like that. You know, it, we definitely, you know, kind of got the same, you know, upbringing a little bit. So uh, it's definitely a, a, a good quarterback and a, and a good opportunity for us to come back and just go crazy, man. Who told who first? Like, I, I know you dropped your video first. Oh, so, so uh, <laughs> I, I told I, I thought I told him I was coming back first. You know, um, I knew I was coming back first. And um, he was trying to hold off a little. I think he knew he was coming back too. He was trying to hold off a little bit, act like he won't coming back and all that type stuff. I said, "Why? Well, right, look, I'm coming back. I don't know about you. You know, I'm coming back." He was like, right, "Come on!" But we all we've been talking, you know, a little bit like before we even decided we was gonna do like how crazy it would be if we was to come back. You know what I'm saying? So uh, when we both came out with that and we just like, "Are right, we gonna do it?" Like I was like, "Bet," because he came to me like a week or two earlier before we both decided we was gonna do it. And he was like, "I don't know, man. I'm thinking about running it back." I'm like, man, come on, man, stop playing. Because at first, like, he was saying, like, he, he out. And then he was like, man, I don't know. I think about running it back. I'm like, come on, man, stop playing. Don't do me like that, bro. If you if you serious, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, I don't know, man. I'm going to let you know something soon. I'm like, man, you playing, man. But uh, once I told him, and then he was like, I don't come back, too. I'm like, oh, yeah, we lit. Let's do it. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, it's up now. I'm telling you, it's up. What What was his reaction when you told him, like, for sure, like, I'm I'm back. Let's do it. He was just like, all right, let's run it back. Like, let's go. You know, like, it really wasn't a crazy reaction, you know, because um, I think he already knew I was coming back. But um, it wasn't no crazy reaction for sure. I, I got you, man. I got you. So you, you talked about um, a little bit earlier kind of taking on that leadership role moving mm-hmm. forward. Um, what do you think that looks like for you, like, from a literal standpoint? Um, oh. I know you've always kind of been like a lead by example anyway. Like, I know you – you set the tone. That's what I always – you're a tone setter in practice, yeah. I feel like. But what does yeah. that look like now that you've been here a year, kind of grabbing those young guys and, and kind of showing them the way, I guess? You know, I think mine for me, the challenge for me would be uh, being more vocal. You know, I'm more of a laid-back type of guy on the field. You know, I turn up and, and, and just get guys, you know, going and stuff like that. I don't really tell them, you know, you need to work on this, you need to do that. But, like, I'm, I'm going to start doing that. That's, that's my challenge, you know, and – just my vision of what I see, what I think this team can be and, and what I think this team needs and what it what, what will help us. You know what I'm saying? So, like, today we was doing a drill. Uh, we was doing, like, a, a get-off drill. We was working on sprints and stuff like that. 
and they had a ball out there and uh he'll say go 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 but he wouldn't move the ball we, we we basically moving off the ball and um you know a few guys was jumping and i was just you know teach like just yelling at the guy not yelling at him but like just trying to explain to them like we got to be disciplined you know what i'm saying like let's go man let's be the most disciplined team this year you know what i'm saying it starts now you know so uh just little stuff like that you know just being more vocal i don't want to be no loud and obnoxious leader you know i just want to be a cool you know laid back but also you know explain it to guys the way that they can understand, you know, like talking to them and just being that big brother. So this semester just started, uh, workouts just started. Everybody's kind of getting settled in, I know. Have you gotten to know any of the transfer guys yet? I, I don't guess they're really at your position. I know they're, some of those guys are going through the same thing you were this time last yeah. year. Yeah. Have you kind of gotten to know any of those guys yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, Trey Knox, I was talking to him today Um I, I forgot his name. I think his name Simmons or Simon or something like that. The other tight end Josh guy. Simon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Me and Mario, we real cool, man. I, I like Mario a lot, man. And um, them the only guys I really been talking to, but um, I like them boys, man. They cool, man. I definitely, you know, been bringing them guys in. You know, like some of the guys come over here chill. We just kick it, watch games and stuff like that. And uh, it's been cool, man. You know, I definitely want to, you know, be that guy that they can be cool with. You know, I don't want nobody to feel uncomfortable and stuff like that. I need everybody to be comfortable. And everybody be good because uh, we we going to run this year for sure. How important is that just for the locker room to all be going yeah. in one direction? Exactly. I mean, that's our team. They are brothers now. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, in corner for us to get to what we want to get, we can't have nobody feeling uncomfortable. We can't have nobody, you know, uh, just just feeling one way and everybody else on a whole nother time. You know, we got to have everybody hands in and ready to go. You know, so it's, it's very important, you know, because this is our team. You know, this is a team that's going to take us to however far we want to go. So we got to have everybody on the same accord. Juice, obviously this interview uh, presented by Garnet Trust, it was just announced today officially. Uh, you signed more of like a long-term type deal with Garnet Trust that's going to involve mm -hmm. some stuff throughout the year. Um, I, I guess you want to talk about that a little bit, maybe just your excitement level to uh, to kind of have some – have that NIL opportunity more than just kind of the one-offs that we, that Garnet Trust has done so far. Yeah, definitely. You know, shout out to Garnet Trust, man. I I really appreciate them. You know, they helping me in multiple ways. You know, my family and myself, and just uh just a lot of things, man. So I really appreciate them for sure. And uh, obviously, fans can go out there GarnetTrust.com if they want to get involved as well. Uh, the beauty of NIL is that fans can uh, directly support athletes like Juice and um, give them NIL opportunities. So if you go to GarnetTrust.com, you can read about all the options you would have there to directly support Juice. So, uh, Juice, final thing here, man, I, I guess uh, moving forward, going into this season, you've kind of talked about it a little bit, but what um, what do you maybe want to say to the fans out there that might be watching this? And then uh, what is it going to take to reach these goals that I know that you and Spencer and the rest of your returning teammates have? So, uh, you know, all I want to say to the fans is, you know, I feel like we're going to be really explosive this year. You know, uh, we got a lot of talent, you know, like today when we was, you know, just throwing, you know, like we got a lot of good pass catches. We got a lot of big guys that can move and get in and out their breaks, you know, so uh, it's, it's going to be very exciting for sure. All right, here's Juice Wells. Uh, Juice, we appreciate it as always, man. We wish you luck, and I'm sure we'll be doing one of these uh, here again at some point later on, man, so we'll talk to you then, okay? Yes, sir.